Welcome to Mercy's Little Show. My name's Mercy, and this is my little show. This is a first in a series of videos, whereas I, a newcomer to comics, share my opinion of books from back in the day. I will take an issue, a storyline, or a miniseries from a long time ago and review it, and I will also try to fit it in with what's going on today. On today's episode of Back Issue Reviews, I will be reviewing Thunderstrike number one. Um, with the new Thor that came out this week, I thought it would be a good idea to do it today. This comic book was printed in June of 93. Um, I really like this cover. I don't care what people said back right now about the 90s comics. I really like the cover. The book begins with a woman getting her car stolen until Thor comes to save the day, looking all badass. After saving the day, the cops tell Thor, nice work Thor. That makes him think to himself that he should not be called Thor like he's not worthy. It goes over a brief backstory about Thor um, appointing him as his successor and how he also got his new hammer. Eric Masterson, the new Thor, starts thinking to himself that he should come up with a new name. He also makes up makes a joke about superhero comic book names. After Eric changes back to normal, he visits with a friend while his ex-wife's current husband's car is getting stolen. Then we meet Carjack. A super villain car thief. After Eric finds out from his son that his ex's husband has been hurt, he has been asked to see if Thor can help. We cut to a person thinking to himself that it, he is there to serve justice. Blood Axe. Next we see Blood Axe in the jail. And it doesn't look like he's messing around. Then we're back to Thor, and he's thinking to himself what we're all thinking. Stolen cars isn't a job for an Avenger, but he's doing it because his son asked. Thor meets up with a cop, and we learn that Blood Axe slaughtered the criminals that Thor has sent to jail in the beginning. We've learned that Thor and Blood Axe have fought before. Blood Axe thinks he's a hero. Thor thinks he's just crazy. When Thor and Blood Axe finally fight, Thor learns that his new hammer, Thunderstrike, isn't as powerful as Mjolnir. Mjolnir, sorry. Um, he's no match for Blood Axe. But then some mysterious person saved Thor. He doesn't know who it was, but he thinks it was the real Thor or Sif. That's when he decides to change his superhero identity. Um, to save Thor's reputation, <laughs> he goes to Spotlight Costumes to get a new updated costume. Blood Axe is at it again and Eric goes to stop him. Um, after a battle between them two, uh, Blood Axe gets away. Eric says he's not Thor, he's Thunderstrike. As a person who just never read Thor, co um, Thor comics, I didn't have a problem following along. I really like this comic book and I really like the characters. Um, I also really like that it took a, a superhero and made him doubt himself. The only downfall to this comic book that I found is um, it's too wordy. Um, I know that might sound a little stupid but there's like a billion words on one page. This book didn't make me want to find out what the writer is currently doing today, but it did make me want to find out what the artist, Ron Friends, is doing currently. Even with the problems I had with the amount of dialogue, I still want to pick up issue two. This was an enjoyable book. I don't know what people have against the 90s comics, and I don't know why people have a problem with a female Thor. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like up and also subscribe. Um, you can also follow me on Twitter at Mercy's Little Show with no W. Love you guys. Bye.